Hello dear students, welcome to our new session. Today we are studying NCRT, 5th Standard EVS, Chapter 8, A Treat for Mosquitoes. Let's start the class. This lesson start with the conversation of some friends. Blood test. Rajat is back at school today. He had been absent for many days. How are you now? asked Arti. I am alright. Rajat replied softly. Just kidat. You must have played a lot while you were at home. Then Rajat replied. Who wants to play when you have fever? On top of it, I had to take a bitter medicine. I even had a blood test. Then Jaskirat asked. A blood test? Why? It must have been very painful. Then Rajat replied, Actually, when the needle pricked my finger, it felt like an ant bite. They took 2-3 drops of blood and sent it for testing. That's how we came to know that I had malaria. Then Nancy, but you get malaria when a mosquito bites you? Rajat, yes, but we find out by the blood test. Just kidding. There are a lot of mosquitoes in my house these days, but I did not get malaria. Nancy Who says that every mosquito bite causes malaria? Malaria spreads only by the disease carrying mosquitoes. Then Aradi All mosquitoes look the same to me. Then Rajat There must be some difference. Then Nancy did they take the blood from the place where the mosquito had bitten you? Then Rajat replied, Of course, not. How do I know when and where the mosquito bite me? Then Nancy, But how could they find out that you had malaria by your blood test? Do you think they could see something in the blood? For blood test, taking the blood on the glass slide for test. Dr. Mariam, Looking at the blood slide under the microscope. This microscope makes things look thousands times bigger. The details inside the blood can be seen clearly. There are some microscopes which make things look even more bigger than this one. Find out. Do you know anyone who has had malaria? Yes, one of my friends once suffered from malaria. How did they find out that they had malaria? It was found by blood test. What problems did they have on having malaria? My friend suffered from high fever. He became very weak. What other diseases can be caused by mosquito bites? Some other diseases which can be caused by mosquito bites. Dengue. Chikungunya, Filaria, etc. In which season is malaria more common? Why do you think this happened? Malaria is very common in rainy season. It is because mosquitoes get suitable environment to breed during the rainy season. What do you do in your house to protect yourself from mosquitoes? To protect ourselves from mosquitoes, we use mosquito repellent. Mosquito repellent cream, mosquito nets, wire mesh on windows, keeping the surrounding clean, removing stagnant water from the surroundings. In this way, we can protect ourselves from mosquitoes. Look at the report of the blood test given here. Which words in the report help us to know that the person has malaria? In the blood test report, it is clearly written that malarial parasite was found in the blood. Female anopheles mosquito carry the malaria germ from infected person to a healthy person. Brownish mosquito with spotted wings. Here are the different types of mosquitoes. Medicine for malaria. From early times, the dried and powdered bark of the singona tree was used to make a medicine for malaria. Earlier people 
used to boil the bark powder and strain the water which was given to patients. Now tablets are made from this. Next part is about anemia. Anemia, what's that? Ardi, you know I also had to get a blood test done. But they took a syringe full of blood. The blood test showed that I had anemia. Then Drajit asked, what is that? Then Ardi replied, the doctor said that there is less hemoglobin or iron in the blood. The doctor gave some medicines to give me strength. He also said that I should eat jaggery, amla and more green leafy vegetables because of these have iron. Nancy, how can there be iron in our blood? Just kidding. There was something about this in the newspaper yesterday. Rajat laughing. So then you ate iron or what? Then Ardi. Silly, this is not the iron used to make these keys. I don't know exactly what it is. After I ate a lot of vegetables and whatever the doctor had said, my hemoglobin went up. Students, do you know about the hemoglobin and anemia? Anemia is a deficiency disease which is caused due to the deficiency of hemoglobin in the blood. Nutrients mixes with our blood to make us healthy. The important nutrients essential to our body are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Minerals are inorganic substances present in our food. Our food requires them in small quantities for proper functioning of various body systems. We obtain minerals through our diet. Iron is required for the formation of hemoglobin. Calcium, iron, phosphorus, sodium, etc. are some minerals found in the food. We should eat jaggery, amla and more leafy vegetables to increase hemoglobin or iron in the blood. Anemia common in Delhi school. 17 November 2007, thousands of children studying in the municipal corporation schools in Delhi suffer from anemia. This is affected both their physical as well as mental health. Due to anemia, children do not grow well and their energy levels are low. This also affects their ability to study properly. Now, health checkups are being done in the schools and health cards are being made for all the children. Anemic children are also being given iron tablets. Look at the RD's blood report and find out the minimum required hemoglobin. The minimum hemoglobin level required in the blood is 12 grams per dilution. How much did this hemoglobin go up and how long did it take for that? this hemoglobin increased by 2.5 gram per dilution that is by around 30 percentage. It took about 3 months. What does the newspaper report say about the problems caused by anemia? The newspaper report says that anemia affects both physical and mental health of children. Due to anemia, children do not grow properly and their energy levels are down. This affects their study as well. Ask a doctor or elders about the food items which contain iron. Green leafy vegetables like spinach, lettuce, cabbage and jaggery contain iron. Amla also rich in iron. Students, here is the end of the part 1, chapter 8, a treat for mosquitoes. Hope all of you understood well. Thank you and have a nice day.